You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my reaction to X Men 97, episode 10. Now, before we get into this reaction, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. So here we are, back for the final episode of Season 1 for X-Men 97. Yes, I'm rocking my new <clears throat> X-Men 97 Storm shirt. Obviously, she's gone through a transformation since this look, but I thought this kind of like chibi-style Storm shirt was too cute to pass up. So here we are. The third and final part to our three-part season finale. And wow, what an eventful season finale it's been so far, huh? Last episode was wild. Charles was getting red for Phil to jabs left, right, and center from everybody on the team, including Roberto, who didn't even know him. <laughs> Meanwhile, Magneto said the Earth is going to stay shut down, actually. Permanently. I'm closing this beach up for goods. Throw the shutters up, baby. The ghetto Milky Way is over. Lifted up his own little asteroid to give us, you know, mutant world. A new mutant planet, if you will. And he arrives shortly after Storm and Forge finally get to the mansion. And Magneto basically gives an ultimatum. He says, look, all of this destruction... Let's put it right on Charles where it belongs, huh? Now you can stay with him and continue down this path of destruction, or you can come with me on my path of ultimate destruction as we hop on my new asteroid, throw up the deuces to planet Earth, and create our own new society, and let all this die away. Rogue and Roberto say sounds like a plan to me. Head off with Magneto while our X-Men try to come up with this dual plan of convincing Magneto to turn the power back on and abandon this foolery he's going with, as well as another plan to shut down Bastion and hopefully shut down his organic human advanced sentinels. Prime Sentinels. And yeah, that didn't go so well. Literally, I had the front. It started great. Storm and Jean had one of my favorite exchanges of the season. Oh, what a good moment between them. Really all episode long. But that make them mind your weather and make them weather your mind exchange. Oh, Cinnabite was so good. When we get off to a good start, Jean is overcoming Sinister, Morph hulks out, and then they try to get on over to Bastion. He calls their bluff quick, gets the collar they wanted to put on him, and I don't know where we go from there. Meanwhile, they brought Cable, Nathan, down to be around the man who kind of like manipulated him from birth. And yeah, uh, Sinister quickly utilized that, took over Cable to blast the hell out of Jean. So we currently don't know if Jean is dead again, if she's still alive, if she survived that blast, what happened? Because she made this connection with Scott and it got abruptly ended after she said, I love you and seemed to just get blown to smithereens. So we'll see. Forge got blown out the sky. Storm let her love and feelings get in the way. She tried to, like, lift him back up into the sky and turned her back on the enemy and got blasted into the water. So I think Storm will probably be okay. I think Forge will probably be okay. But, I mean, <laughs> they literally got shot straight from the sky. So who knows? Meanwhile, in the sky with Magneto, we had a civil war full on Magneto delivered the iconic shut up line. Oh, so good. While Rogue was kind of trying to like tamper people, she, you know, said at a point, like, you're playing a kill, Wolverine. I need you to chill out. Uh, Roberta was blasting poor Jubilee, and she's like, all right, bitch, bet then. So some of these people were trying to play softball while because it's their friends, literally these people that they've known and loved, while others were like, no, y'all chose a side. This is now war. So the plan was Xavier to get into Magneto's mind to force him to undo his magnetic block, basically. 
his unmagnetizing of the entire globe. And then Scott ruined that. Blasted Xavier, saying they needed more time, which they did. But also, Magneto didn't take too kindly to what Charles did. And he just went ham and said, you know what? We're going to put a pulse on this whole thing. I'm about to smash Charles's head in with this helmet. Everybody got locked up. I think Scott was shook by what happened. <laughs> and then Wolverine just straight up stabbed <laughs> Magneto through the abdomen, upper abdomen, lower chest area. Blood off the claws. And we were like, oh shit, did he just kill Magneto? Not quite, because Magneto said, I'm going to unleash one more thing on you and ripped the adamantium off of Logan's bones and out of his body. So I don't know if that killed Logan. Uh, if there's enough of him left that, you know, he can still reheal and regenerate and just come back with the bones again. I don't know where we go from here. Is Logan alive or is he just highly mutated is he just a, a a bag of bones walking around collecting up the little pieces of flesh to patch himself back together i don't know is gene gone a storm can you swim girl can you get out that water forge did you crash and burn cable snap out of it what are we gonna do about magneto still who is also got like a pretty terrible wound through his body that will need to be healed. I don't know. I don't know where we go from here. I don't know what we do from here. That's kind of what I said last episode. I just need to get into it and see what's going on. So let's cut the chit chat and jump into the season finale of X-Men 97 season one. Oh, it's a long episode, thankfully. All right, let's get hype. Build up some hype here. Some excitement with this kicking intro. Before we get into the madness with the actual episode. Hey, Storm. What up, girl? Oh, Logan's still in the intro. So is Jean, actually. So that's a good sign, right? And low key, they kept Rogue in the intro, too, even though she left our team. <laughs> oh, okay. We just saw Xavier and... Magneto working together in this little clip. Oh. Are we going to get more Emma Frost? We haven't seen her in a minute, so... Okay, there were some little hints in here, hopefully. Hmm. Or sentimental lady. Though either will kill you. Let's go flashback. Would we be here helping the survivors if we cared about staying alive? Run and hide. Before someone starts dreaming of camps. Ooh. I'm a mutant. Metal. It bends to my will. Ooh. My experience, minds are far harder to bend than metal. Very true. Very true sentiment. Oh. Rogue. Okay, we're coming back. War against mankind. Yeah. Fight X-Men against each other. Have you yearned for Bastion's bastard cyborgs to resume their pogrom against our no, species? No, we don't. What happens to mutants in a blacked-out world? Exactly. Revolution thrives in darkness. Oh. Uh, not that much darkness, sir. I will hijack your mind and force you to do so. You heed what happened when my village used reason while others used... Then forgive me. <sighs> oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, this animation is stunning. Ooh. Okay, Charles did it. Ugh. Oh, what are we to do now? Oh, hey, Silver Samurai, welcome back. We gonna see Spidey and them again. Oh, there's Cap and Iron Man too. Well, hello, Avengers. Oh, hi, Daredevil. Oh my. Poetic, isn't it? <laughs> the inevitability of my vision. Oh, 
Hi. Even now, Professor Xavier must pave the path to my dream in order to honor his own. A dream as crippled as its dreamer, built uh. to die. Oh no. Shoot the Neanderthal 2.0. Buggy stillborns flapping up oh, no, girl, come back up. Dry so that the tide the future tide. Oh no. Despite this little toy you X Men would use to abort the bond to my creations. No, oh, Storm Girl. Held hostage by Beast. Yeah. Tank. I'd be hanging here with you freaks. Hmm? Equal opportunity suicide. You would have been one of the first. Get your filthy paws off her. Oh, okay, Forge. To be born with this. None choose to be born, Bastion. That's why we must never begrudge them being. Did you mm. try to appeal to my humanity? Look at me. There is man, girl. Yet another reason why Operation Zero Tolerance must skip to final phase. Okay, sir. Genocide ain't enough. People are good. Too damn good. Ugh. To protect humanity. I must protect humanity from itself. Oh my. Wakanda, are you ready to do what needs to be done? Oh, hey! Wow. All of us have to come together, huh? There's the line. Oh! Ignorance is empathy, huh? Okay, here we go. Cable will stop at nothing. He is as blind as his dead beat dad and as doomed as it. Oh. Really, Beesh. Oop. Maybe you two should have listened to what Time's got to say about my mom. Okay, let's go, Time Travel! This is what I'm talking about. <gasps> oh, she emerged. Thank goodness. That's right, you are. Finally, Jean. Let's go. Oh, oh, Jean is winning this single handedly. They did not choose to become slaves to hate. Did they not, though? Did they not kind of choose it? Oh, hateful beings. Not people just falling out of the sky like that, though. All I do is think. All this mutant DNA you stole to stay duct taped together. Ooh. Ooh! Tear him apart from the inside. From each molecule. Yes. Not old man sinister. My face. Looks the same to me. Yes, more. <laughs> they really sent Sinister out here crying. The Phoenix Force is gone now. But I could feel it deep inside, pulling me back. Yes. Protect my son. Oh. Okay, Jean. Mama Bear Jean. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we didn't quite kill Bastion, girl. Ugh. Oh, whoa! Somebody help him! What the hell? Oh my 
gosh. I will tear that rock from the heavens and hurl it to earth, granting humans the same mercy. Oh, wow. So the rest of the X-Men just chilling, right? While he's doing all this bull-ish. Oh no. Here to help guide you from this place. How did I get here? I can show you. I promise. Ooh, this is some like inception going on here. Alright, so we'll be the right too. Oh. Oh my. He hurt him. Gene. Yes. Scott. Come in. Both our minds will be lost. No. You better hurry. In order oh. to save the world, we must not lose him. Professor. Professor! Yeah, that's very true. Bastion's inbound to you. Bastion is the future incarnate. The future incarnate, huh? Wow. Then what do we do? Keep us safe, my lord. For in you we take refuge. Mm. Hey, we both know how this will go for me. Like, I just learned my powers yesterday. So, oh. well, you know. No. Hey Romeo. Odd <laughs> but the cards are always in the X-Men's favor. Welcome back, Roberto and Rogue. Okay, what do we do now? Storm, why didn't you fly up here? <laughs> Remember it. Now get him again. Get him for Gambit. Now this is who you're meant to be fighting, Miss Rogue. This is what I'm talking about. See, this is why we need a full-on attack. Rogue, Storm, and Jean all coming after him at once. It's a wrap. Let's go, Rogue. She can't be doing it by herself. That's the problem here. X-Men work best when they fight as a team. Oh, but she did some good damage, baby. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Where is everybody else? This is what I'm talking about. Thank you. Finally, somebody. That's right. Okay. Yeah! Sunspot, baby! All right, the name with more flair. I love it. Okay, Steve. Thank you. Oh, God. Here these fools go. Here goes humanity again, acting a fool. What's really hurting you on Asteroid M is someone trying to protect your kind, dummies. Gonna kill you all. This is the dark pain you've carried inside all these years. I have these waters too. So much. Oh. It also carries us to others who are fighting their own current. Mm. No, she she left me. What? So many did. Mm -hmm. Mm. Do not presume us family. Nope. Family. My family. I have you, Magnus. I'll always have you. No. Oh. Together we will resurface. Those men. Boots. They took them. Oh. The monsters took them. Oh, Magneto. Alright, Nightcrawler, where you at? Time to join the battle. Jubes, girl, I know you can't fly, but what's going on? Never learn. Oh. We are pesky here. All right, now you come. <laughs> Drop him somewhere real dirty. Hurt. Oh, he's gonna catch on. Yep, I. Uh, 
Oh, all right, Scott, you putting up a fight more so than I would have imagined. The hell? What was that? Oh! Okay, Scott. Unleashed. But it's not enough, baby. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Jubilee, start firing. All right, she's tired of hearing the mess. Oh, be ready to start fighting as soon as you see that thing move. Send what you can at it. A family that can't save itself merely works together to die alone. Oof. Yes! And irony. All right, let's go, cause it's go time. Okay. Coolie, he is the future incarnate. No, not our future. Now we have all we need to take him down. Attack as a family and throw everything you've got at him, and he will break. Stand down, Coolie. Oh. And embrace it. Oh. Okay. I massacre you three and you're recruiting me. You're suicidal. Humanity would rather die than have kids like us. No. The Magneto Protocols. Oh my gosh. Well, there goes humanity. Acting a freaking idiot yet again. Great. Oh. Oh. And what about the Professor Magneto? <gasps> Can you believe breathe in space? <laughs> I feel like most of these people can't. How cute they are! Yeah, you see what you've done, humanity? You all are so stupid. You're about to blow up the whole freaking planet. Oh, no, 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 no. no. That's what you would do. It's what you've done. No, that could fry the jet. How will you get back? I mean, she can fly, bruh. Oh? Nathan, I always swore I'd never repeat my father's mistake. The mistake I oh. sent you into the future. Without saying goodbye. Mm. It pissed me the hell off. I belonged in those stories too, growing up, fighting alongside. You were. Oh. You always were. Damn. I'll tell you, those legends. Oh. <laughs> the day you were born, your mother told me you had my eyes. Oh. They're good eyes. Oh, that's like really sweet. Oh, hey, <laughs> Oh, the use of this score. Scientists believe that when it makes impact, it will strike the east coast of North America. Yeah. Oh. She can't say it. <gasps> I can. Ah. Uh, Logan, stay sorry. with me. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. We've been waiting, waiting all season for Morph to say it. 
Oh. I support down. There's a power in seeing yourself in another, in resemblance. There is no one like me. Magnus. We had a dream. Yes. Charles. Yes. Yes. A dream that made us a family. Your name is Professor Charles. Yes. And you are Eric Magnus Lenschler. <laughs> but the man you wish to glimpse as a child who you were meant to be, all right your family leads to that's right another name come on now magneto let's do this ah! yes. oh Magneto, right on time, baby. Let's go. Oh, what a scene. <laughs> Woo! Give me the chills. Whoa, what the hell? What's going on here? Is that the cliffhanger for the whole season? Oh, okay. Bitch, I was about to be pissed. Mm -hmm. Must be a damn fool walking in here like we're friends. Oh, oh, we're friends, Daniel. Just not yet. Name <laughs> Lucas Bishop. Hey, Bishop. Searching for mutants to carry on the torch. I couldn't find a trace of them or the damn asteroid. Mm. She. Oh. The X Men are dead. <laughs> Luckily, this ain't our first time at the X Men are dead. <laughs> but it's less a question about where. Something or someone yanked our friends through time. Oh, now we gotta go rescue the X Men. Okay. Oh, they threw old girl way on back. Apocalypse, where you at then? <laughs> this is where Rogue was taken. Oh. Not Roe came out fighting. She just started swinging on these folks and don't even know who or where she is. Indeed. What is the saying? We need to patch this little top part up. I'm sick of seeing his little hair patch popping out. <laughs> Oh. 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 All right, Magneto. There's no need to be afraid. Oh. Nathan. Oh. <gasps> Come. Oh. My name is N Sabanu. <laughs> oh. Well. Maybe we want to let him die, actually. <laughs> yeah. uh, where's Storm? Odin. How come I didn't see Storm in that ending? They're gonna give us a post credit for the final episode. Okay, it looks like it looks like they are. They're gonna give us a, a post credit this time. We didn't see Logan and. His boo thing morph either. Isn't so Deja Nosha? So much death. Oh, here comes Apocalypse. Wow. All right. Well, that was the season finale for X Men ninety seven season one. A lot happened, as we imagined it would. <laughs> but nobody died, actually. Everybody we thought maybe had a chance of death from the last episode wasn't dead. Came back. They were fine. And I have to say this. At the end of the day, I actually love that once more. It wasn't really Bastion. Like, yes, he clearly was quite the villain this season. 
Uh, but it all looped right back to humanity being the villain. Humanity trying to cut off their nose despite their face, wanting so badly to get at mutants that they were willing to sacrifice hundreds of millions, if not the whole planet. An asteroid of that size l crash landing into planet Earth would probably kill the whole planet, if not like 75% of it. <laughs> I do really love where we went with Bastion. I love the approach Scott took with him, even though I don't know that it should have worked. Just like he said, his humanity was kind of gone and dead. But wow, we saw Rogue go in. Look, Rogue was ready to take him all by herself almost. <laughs> so honestly, they could have taken him and killed him. Let's be clear. Okay, but they made peace like the X-Men do. Wow, that stuff with Magneto and Charles in Eric's mind was really powerful stuff. Really, really great stuff there. Oh, that scene where Magneto lives once more. So good. Obviously, it was super fun getting all these cameos. A lot of the cameos we got before. No Spider-Man this time, though. But we added in a bunch of other folks. <laughs> I'm glad that Steve came around to the right side of history. I'm glad that Wakanda was on the right side of history in that decision as well. But man, humans are dumb. And at the end, Bishop has returned. He's going to pick up Forge, take him across time to try to find these X-Men. Where was Cable at the end? He was with Forge. So where did he go? Also, where did Strong go? Obviously. Uh, I'm very interested in where my girl was jetted off to. Where did Logan and Morph go? Who else didn't we see? Jubilee and Roberto. I don't think we saw them there at the end. So a lot of unaccounted for mutants there at the ending. we will be interested to see where they were dropped off in time. I presume it was, in fact, Apocalypse who did that because, you know, they came back and saved his ass. <laughs> from pure death but it also could have been cable maybe i don't know because cable led gene and scott to him as a child so that was really interesting and will set up a crazy dynamic for season two it seems like bastion died i don't know but sinister is still alive and can get more genetics to, to make himself younger and not an old hag <laughs> But I'm also just glad that our couples are all together right now. We had Roberto and Jubilee, who were my, like, fave couple of the season. Oh, making up. We had Scott and Jean, like, feeling as a united front for once this season. And then we had Morph finally admitting their love for Logan. The hints had been dropped all season long, and I'm so glad. Oh, I am so glad. They had Morph say it. But wow. I mean, time travel is going to be the big thing of season two, it seems. Obviously, with Apocalypse being our next big villain. I wonder if that means we have a chance at getting Gambit and maybe even Madeline Pryor back. Getting, like, the Warlocks back. All those people who died on Genosha. Uh, obviously, we saw Apocalypse land there and feel the pain there. So, yeah, we'll see. But really great. Uh, but another great episode, a really great season finale. It tied up all our loose ends while keeping the door open for season two. Some amazing action, some poignant writing, just like we've come to expect from the series. What an amazing return for the X-Men animation. Absolutely fantastic season of TV in X-Men 97. And I cannot wait for us to get season two already. I wish I just could keep going and going with episodes. That's why we need like 20 episode long seasons. Particularly for animated shows that are 30 minutes or less. But I loved it. I loved the season. Loved this episode. Oh, so good. So thank you all for joining me on this journey of watching X-Men 97. Obviously, I will be reacting to X-Men 97 when it returns. So make sure you're subscribed, you join in on that action. Also, I'm planning on reacting to Agatha all along when it debuts later this year. We got like the first actual <laughs> material for that, the real title here. So if you're just hyped for some Marvel content, it will be coming soon.
And of course, I'm really excited for Deadpool and Wolverine for more X-Men goodness coming this summer. So that was my reaction to X-Men 97, episode 10, Tolerance is Extinction, part three. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos. Also, make sure to join in on the discussion. What did you think of episode 10 of X-Men 97? Were you satisfied with this season finale? Let me know all of your thoughts, either in the comment section down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Mwah. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.